Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to learn a string uh, in string and list in Python. Okay. So how to use the strings in Python language? Uh, what are the uses of Python? What are the conditions we are going to follow to use this string and uh, and also a Python, right? So oh, string is a sequence of a characters. So characters are nothing but a, here we can take a combination of a alphabet, combination of alpha as well as a numeric, right? So within one string, if you are generating, there may be a character or there may be a numbers, right? A string can be created by enclosing characters inside a string, single quote or a double quotes. String can be used with the single quote or with the double quotes. Whenever uh, the values has been represented by using a single and double, then it is going to be a string only, right? Even triple quotes can be used in Python, but generally used to represent the multiple strings. Whenever you want to generate a multiple strings for the same variable or the same value, then we are going to use a three double quotes here, right? Strings are immutable, means once you have created a string that cannot be changed, that can be updated, okay? So once you update, the initial value will be existing somewhere in your memory location, but it cannot be retrieved whenever you required. Okay, so it is going to be lost in your memory. So how to change that value? The same value will be there, but we can assign a different types of a strings for that value, right? So these things we'll see it in a, a practically how this works. So first I said string can be created by using a single code. So let me see whether it is a work or not. I'll take it as an anuj. Okay. So with the single quote it is taking. So let me try with the double quote once again. So anuj. So double quote also it is working. So as I said it can be created by using a triple single quotes. So same. It is also working so whenever you want to represent a multiple strings with the same value then you are going to use a double quotes three times right so name is equal to so i want to pass a multiple strings here anuj is a one string here so aditya and uh, anil right right so so name i have been used so i have been used the enter too many times so how to pass a triple quote here right so once i run with this so i can get a, a different values here right so if we go to the print of name it will give in a sequential voice anus aditya and anil so single kit can be removed so whenever we want to pass multiple values to the same value so multiple strings with the same value then you are going to use a double quote with the uh, three times as a double quote so in cbc uh, in cbc exam paper in multiple choice question they may ask so which statement or uh, uh, which example can become a, a valid string generator in python right so it may be a single quote it may be a three times single quote double quote it may be a three times double quote okay so all these are valid valid so whenever you are on, you want to use a multiple strings then you are going to use a, a double quote as a three times right so the next one is accessing characters in a string or it can also be called as a slicing right so basically the strings can be identified by using an index values so index value means the index value is always starts with what a zero so i'll generate a one string here x is equal to let me take it as a b c d e f g okay so once i run here let's a b c d e f g right so a b c d e f g totally there are so how many characters a b c d 4 5 6 and 7 are there so but indexing is starts with a zero so zero is nothing but a a is located uh, a can be identified by index value zero b is 1 c 2 3 4 5 6 so it is followed with the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 
okay so totally there are six index values are there so if i include zero here right so i want to get the value of a a with the help of the index so it is been stored in x so i want to call a zero so which represents a a here okay so from right to left you can also represent the range value in a index value say for example a is equal to i want from 2 to 3 okay so 2 to 3 means c only because a 2 is an inclusive and the last value that is the end value 3 is going to be an exclude here because it starts with the 0 so 2 to 3 means so 2 is an inclusive means a 0 represents a a here and 1 represents a 2 here and c represents a, a 2 here since 3 is exclude you only it takes that second value correct so if you want to print all the values means how to print so 0 to so how many values are there 7 here right so a b c d e f g right so this is how we represent a positive from left to the right even you can represent the values in negatives also say for examples i want a minus 1 so minus 1 means what a g here from right to left minus 1 is g minus sorry minus 1 is g minus f is 2 here minus sorry e is a minus 3 d is a minus 4 c minus 5 b minus 6 and last one a is a minus 7 here since we are not going to use an index value from right to left as a 0 so whenever you use an index value from the negatives so there won't come a 0 values here right so this is a how the index value we are going to be represent right so python allows the negative index for the its sequence from minus 1 to from right to left so there is a term index error what do you mean by the index error if i try to execute a index value if it is not exist since i said there are only seven index values are there suppose if i take eight here which is not exist so you'll get a index error okay so index error means since so there is no index value for eight is been assigned right so the next is using a plus and an, a plus and a star star is nothing but a multiplicative operators with the strings so what happens when i use a plus and a star operator here joining of two or more strings into a single one is called as a concatenation concatenation is nothing but a just i am adding the values not appending i am adding the values here let me go with an example see here x i'll take it as Mm, Arun. So why I'll be taking one more Akash. So I want to concatenate, concatenate x plus y here. So x plus y means it will add the values. So x is a one value. So like a, a addition, additional operator we have been used in arithmetic operations, right? So two operands. So operator is a two operands. X and Y are the two opera, operands here, and X will be your operator. So I am going to use adding. So there we have added the numbers. Here we are adding the strings here, right? So next one is a multiplication. So X. So I want two times as a Arun here, right? So Arun and Arun two times will be getting okay so this is how we use a plus and a multiplicative operators with the strings right so next one is how to use a for loop with the strings so for loop with the strings means so if you want to iterate the values then you are going to use a for loop here so let me copy this one only so for this i'll be using editor so how it works so let me remove it okay so first i have to assign the value for the hello right so hello so i want to use a word as uh aditya let me take it as aditya right now go to run so for this i need to save mm, so sd dot py so whenever you want to save your file you your editor needs to be identified so that the extension should be used here is dot py that is a python it is going to be understood to the python editor so expected an indent block okay so this should be small i 
ठीक है नॉन वोट इधर है इन वैलिड कैरेक्टर यू प्लस टू नॉट वन सो लेट मी रिमूव दिस ओके सी ए ए आदित्य एंड आदित्य सो इट हैज बीन मल्टीप्लाइड विद द टू टाइम्स सो व्हाट वाज माय कोड सो हियर द स्ट्रिंग हैव बीन यूज एज अ आदित्य दैट आई वांट टू प्रिंट फॉर द टू टाइम्स सो लेटर हैव बीन पास ओके सो ईच एंड एवरी लेटर शुड बी प्रिंटेड एज अ टू टाइम्स विथ द स्ट्रिंग सो दिस इज हाउ वी यूज अ फॉर लूप राइट So the next one is a Python string methods. What are the methods we are going to be used? So the first method is a is alpha. Is alpha is means is alpha. Wherever, whenever you get a is alpha, is digit, is lower, is upper, and is so l l strip. So left hand strip and right hand strip it is. Okay. So whenever you get a is, so is is nothing but a boolean value. So it is going to be written. Either it is a true or false. so is alpha as the name represent whether the given string is alpha or not so means alphabets or not we are going to check it here check it here okay so let me go here so i'll use uh, one more value that is n is equal to so n is equal to i'll use a Hmm. Aman. So I want to check whether the given string is a alphabetical or not. So means what is what that n dot is alpha. Okay. So n dot is alpha string. Spelling mistake is there. N dot is alpha correct okay so it is a true because n value is having totally a alphabets value right so like this you can use all the uh, methods here is digit is nothing but a, the value will be stored here as a numbers so i'll show you one more say for example if i take a value as 1 2 three right so n dot is digit is the function here right so it is a true so suppose if i use uh, n n is equal to 1 2 3 if i use n dot is alpha so it should be written as what a false one so again spelling mistake n dot is alpha right So it is a false because n value is storing a stored a numbers here. So next is so the next one is a is lower whether the values you have been used the in string is a lower or not it is going to be check. Next one is a lower and upper. So directly it is going to be converted from lower case to the upper case letters. Say for example. So I'll use n is equal to all becomes a upper case letter A B C. So I want to convert these values to the lower case letters. So n dot n dot lower function, right? So so all has been uh, all has been converted to the lower case letters. But when I want to run, so again the A B C has been stored already. So why? Because as I said, it is an immutable function. String is a immutable. so value which have stored already that will be stored somewhere into our location so means i have been changed abc to the small case letters but still it is a uh, the value of a n is displaying as a capital case only so if you want to change means as i already said just assign the value to the n again n dot lower so once you run n here so abc now upper case letter has been changed to the lower case letters right so since string is an immutable is upper is upper and uh, is lower both are so as i have explained so is lower in means so whether the given the values which have used here see is lower right uh, whether they are lower or not it is going to be checked is lower right so it is a 
are true only right for upper case letters you can check it for the upper case letters so the next one is a e l strip l strip means left hand strip we can say so one, one string i'll create here let me create one string so n is equal to let me take s s is equal to so i have given some spaces here next i have been used abc right so if you want to avoid those things then what so i'm going to use what s dot l strip from the left hand side so it removes all the spaces and converts into a continuous value right so same for the s sorry r strip say for example if i use here a b c after a b c have you some space here but you don't want to make a space into your uh, coding then uh, you are going to use what s dot r strip all the spaces will be removed right so this is how we use a l and r strip so these are the python methods whenever it is required you can utilize into your coding okay so the next one is a python list so since we have studied a string how to use a string what are the things what are the methods what are the conditions we need to follow when you are using a string in a python so the next one is a list in python programming a list is created by placing all the items or elements inside the square brackets okay so the list has to be created by using a, a square brackets separated by the commas right so it can have uh, any number of items uh, and they may be of different types it may be any numbers inside the list box or inside the square brackets you can use a numbers special cases and uh, characters can also be used here so these are the some examples i have taken here my list it can be an empty so my list and numbers i have taken in third example i have taken my list uh, numbers combined with the uh, characters so let me create one list okay i'll take a new file let me close it okay so i'll take a table here so table is equal to so the list should be used within the square brackets i do some values here suppose if you want to make a list of your uh, class students uh, list of your staffs list of your colleagues whatever it is so then you can use a list as a function in your python so eight nine seven six random values you can and take okay so once i run a table here so all the values are going to be uh, generated here right so one so it has to be separated with the a comma as i already said a list can be a number as a or a string we can take say for example table is equal to one more time i want to generate a table here so one comma so or else uh, we can append here right list dot append of so i want to append what raju so list dot append dot raju is not defined so but table it is okay so table i have taken append of raju we can take so what is an error raju is not defined again table dot append so i want to append to the table it is not taking list dot append of raju so it is correct only so let me try once again table if i okay table dot append of raju list object has no attribute append how oh, it should be append table dot append of raju table dot append of raju so it is not taking y y line 1 so i want to append to the list 
append dot list this dot append it is correct only table dot append of raju okay so append for table i want to append the value what i want to append the value so i want to append the value as 5 here so table so since i have created a value as a numbers here so it is taking only the numbers value so let me uh, let me insert here table dot insert of what raju hmm is that correct it is table dot insert So it is not working. So let me update the table once again. Table is equal to. So it should be string, right? I have to use a double quotes. Okay. So one comma, two comma, four comma, three comma. So string. If I want to use a Raju, so it should be double quote. I think. So, okay. Okay. Since uh, here I am getting an error because. to use this raju i have to use either single double or triple quote as i said already string should be mentioned within the uh, double quotes only so when you want to use it in the table also i have to be mentioned in a double quotes okay so so these kind of errors uh, be careful with these errors right so you can append also that append and uh, insert and sort i'll show you right so next is so this is how the python is going to be use a, a list in list right so next one is a append method right so append is so i want to append the value into existing table right so the table dot append so i want to append as what then i want to append to the table okay so table 10 is going to be appended so appended means the value is going to be added to the existing table right so the next what is the difference between append and insert here see append and insert is nothing but a append means the value to the next say for example here see after the raju the 10 will be added means append so insert means wherever i want i can insert the values here say for example after the 1 i want to insert a one more value so in between 1 and 2 i want to insert a one more a value so how to use table dot insert so in 2 so i want to insert a 45 here right so 45 means so index value if i take 0 represents 1 and 1 represent 2 and in 2 only i want i have been used here as a in 2 i have to use a, a 45 so it has been used so in second place in second place that is nothing but a 4 here okay initially it was a 4 0 1 and 2 in second place i have been replaced the 45 okay so this is the difference between append and insert append means the value will be appended at the end of the value insert means wherever you want you can insert it right so the next one is a sort so if i use a sort for table dot sort okay so why it is because the string is already available here so i cannot use a a sorting method one more time i will create a table let me use only numbers here so i'll take some random numbers 8 9 7 and take 5 4 and this is 2 okay 
so table dot sort means it will take from from uh, starting to end from one to to ascending order we can say so sort method right so the next one is a reverse so i want to make a reverse of this existing table means uh, what i should use table dot uh, reverse function okay table so initially it was from 1 to 8 now it is from 8 to 1 so these small kind of uh, functions you can be it can be very useful whenever you generating your python uh, code right so the next one is the index so index is nothing but if you want to find out the table of the index value so the table of a 2 so if you want a 2 so 2 is nothing but a so so 2 is 5 it is as uh, showing so 0 so this is for 0 and this is for 1 and this is going to be my a uh, 2 so in index value of a 2 the 5 is going to be represented the index value as a a 2 here so like this if you want table of the index value of a 1 so then it should be a 7 which is a, a last number right so if i start from the 0 here 0 1 2 3 4 5 since so the table 1 is represented by the 7 okay sorry 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 so 0 and this is a 1 so in the index value of a 1 so it is a, a 7 okay so this is the index value not this one right so this is the index value that is a one we can say right that is a seventh value seven value right so the next one is a count so count is nothing but a one more table i'll create here table one two three four i can use fix so if i go to the count of table dot uh, count of so how many ones are there in the table so there are totally three ones are there in the existing list so okay so you can count like this right so if you want to count a table dot count of what so if you want to count a four how many fours are there in the list so totally two are there right so this is about a list methods next one is a list functions so length of a list represents uh, what is the length of the existing list you have taken so maximum means what is the maximum number uh, exist in your list minimum number and it is going to make a sum of all the numbers in your list so how this works so length of so what is the file name i have taken table so what is the length of the table here so if i count from here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the length of the table is a 8 here why it is it how many are there one two sorry so now it is taking this existing table okay so one two three four five six seven and eight numbers are there right so next one is uh, max of length sorry table so max of table is a so sixth exiting uh, the maximum value is a six like a minimum of table if i take so the minimum should be one here so it is taking a one the sum means so it it makes sum to the all numbers it makes a sum of all numbers if you make a sum of these then you get a, a 21 6 plus 4 10 14 16 18 18 plus 3 is a, a 21 right so the next one is a for loop with the list so how this for loop is going to be work with the list so let me copy the same i'll go to my editor here right so let me run it call.pi1 mm. A ridge okay go to run okay indexing error it 
it should be small case okay once again run it syntax error statement print of car run it evol while scanning the string literal so so literal it is not taking so let me write one more code here for car in i'll take only two cars here one is a rich so one is a central we can take okay. so close this one so i want to print here as a car right so run it Invalid syntax. Okay, should be colon. Okay, so centro and res it is working. So for index value also, for index sorry for a string also you can use a a for loop means uh, how many cars it is there that many times it will get loop so here we have only two list of strings that is a region central so for loop will be running in two times and i prints again with the uh, file name as a car right okay so thank you so much and uh, so the next class uh, we'll be studying about uh, a dictionary and uh, tuples right so in this video we have studied uh, how to create uh, how to generate a string and how to make a, a list with the different types of methods and also by using a, a loops okay thank you so much